I'm Felix the Handyman, and today I'm going to show you how to make really simple silk screen frame. A screen roller tool, inch and a quarter fine thread, drywall screws, screen spline, which is the rubber that goes on the screen. And your five gallon bucket paint filter. And your wood. Okay, it's three quarter by one and a half piece of wood. You could get these in an eight foot section for about a dollar fifty. Video will be for people that are familiar with uh, regular handyman work know how to use tools knows how to use table saw the first thing that you do is you cut your wood to do your desired size me I decided on 12 by 14 okay and first thing I did was cut a groove okay that's 730 seconds and 730 seconds deep okay 764th wide because that's the width of my table saw blade i'm showing you a finished product because i know you folks don't want to hang around forever listening to me tell you how to use a screwdriver now you cut your material to the desired length and size on the sides you drill and me, I did a pre-drill on those where I could have a pilot hole on there. And you put your screws in. Okay. Now a critical part tool for this is your 45 holder. It holds your material at a 45 degree angle so that you could put the screws in. I put a little bit of glue behind here before I put the screws in. And if you notice on the cuts, they go all the way through. And what I mean by that is, it goes right in the center. You set it up exactly in the center, running all the way across. When you do the other one, put it right in the center, and you come all the way across. This way, you'll have a complete seal all the ways around nothing could leak out okay then you put in your screws you put in the glue then it's time for the screen i use this paint bucket filter screen because it's really really um fine and I cut the seams off of it and I put it on the back of here then I take the screen spline screen spline is a thin piece of rubber and it goes inside the groove you have your tool holder and on this tool holder there's two sides to it. The side you want to use is the side with the little groove on it. The way you do it is you lay the rubber down, you push this down, and it pushes the rubber into the groove. If you want, you can make the groove a little bit deeper, and that'll just pull your screen even tighter. You can see how tight this screen is right here. And you start from one side. And you pull it tight. And then you put the side on. Pull that tight. Come to the top. Pull that tight. Put the top rubber on. Come to the side. Pull it tight. Put the side rubber on. That on. There you go. One finished silk screen. 
tell you what, when you're drying them out and you put the emulsion on it, in order so you don't set that right down on the screen, what I do is I take little thumbtacks and I put them on the corners. And then when you put your screen down, it don't hit the bottom. It sets on the little thumbtacks and allows the emulsion to dry. Well, that's a quick and easy way to build a silk screen and save yourself a whole bunch of bucks. Well, once again, this is Felix the Handyman. Now, I just figured I'd do this so that we could save, you could save a lot of money on silk screens. And who knows? Maybe if you leave the edges excess, then you could just pull the rubber out, save the screen for a later time. And then put the screen, new screen back in, leaving excess on the side so that you could pull it in and out and reuse that screen whenever you want. Well, okay, figure I'd save you a little money that way. It's the easiest way I know of making a screen. It is a screen, ain't it? Have a nice day. Felix the Handyman.